Okay, we have a, a farmer has 2,400 feet of fencing and wants to fence off a rectangular field that borders a river, so no fencing is needed along the river. And so there's a picture that is provided for this problem, and it looks like this. So you have a, a, a border, if it borders a river like that, that means you don't need any fencing along that side there. So it's divided into into two, two sections there. It says, what dimensions of the field produce the largest area? So we're told that we have 2,400 feet of fencing. Now, because we have a, the word, uh, it says, what dimensions produce the largest area? Word largest means it's like a maximum, which means you're, this is an optimization type problem. So we wanna find a formula, take the derivative, set it equal to zero. To get the answer here. All right, so uh, first of all, we have to figure out what the x's and the y's are for each of those. So let's just call the short ones x and the longer one is y. It really doesn't matter uh, which variables that you use. So we'll just go ahead and use this. Now, based on that, one of our formulas is going to be if we take all these sections and add them together, it should equal 2400. Now, there's no y across the top, so it's not gonna be two Y here, it's gonna be just Y only. There's only one Y that's in the picture. So you're gonna do Y plus three X is gonna equal 2,400. Uh, we wanna solve for Y because eventually what we need to do is put it into the area formula. Now we have area equals X times Y here in this case. So you wanna solve this one for Y and put it into this one. So Y is equal to Oops, 2400, so 2400 I'll put first, 2400 minus 3x. Now we're going to take this one and we're going to put it into here. So area equals x times 2400 minus 3x. When you do that, you're going to get 2400x minus 3x squared. So we're just distributing that into each one. This is the formula that you're going to be taking the derivative of. So a primed is equal to 2,400 minus 6x. And then so now we're going to put in a zero there because these kind of max and minimize optimization problems require you to set equal to zero, the derivative. Zero equals 2,400 minus 6x. Now if you solve for that, uh, you're going to get 400. Okay, so 400 is the x value. But now we want to find the y value, which you can come over this formula. If you put 400 into there, we get 2400 minus 1200, and you're going to get 1200 for that. Now, this only asks you for dimensions here, so we don't have to actually find the area. If it did ask for area, we just multiply these two numbers together, but just ask for dimensions only, so it'll be 400 and 1200.